Hello everyone and welcome to another FME tutorial. In this video series, we're going to show you the easiest way to get geospatial data in and out of your Snowflake data warehouse without needing to code. How? Using FME. Recently, Snowflake announced that they've added support for geospatial data types, which allows users to store points, lines, polygons, and other geospatial data types in their warehouse. FME is the data integration platform with the best support for spatial data. It allows users to connect to over 450 data sources and transform data using hundreds of pre-built data transformation tools. With FME, you can ensure the data that you're loading into your data warehouse is converted to a compatible format and is of the highest quality. Now let's jump into FME to see how this is done. This tutorial was made by Steve McCabe. First, you'll need to establish a Snowflake database connection. You can find out how to do that through the link on the screen, which will also be in the description box below. As you can see, I already have some data that I'm going to load into the Snowflake database. So I'm gonna start off with some CAD and map info examples to load. And then I have a file geodatabase with parks and Vancouver land boundaries, as well as community centers. Here is what the spatial data that we're going to be loading into the Snowflake database looks like in the data inspector. So the point of this exercise is really just to expose you to the new writer. I'm going to take you through how easy it is to write your data to Snowflake. Let's first add in the Snowflake spatial writer. I'm going to start typing in the canvas and I get Snowflake spatial readers and writers up. I'm going to pick my Snowflake spatial and now I'm going to be prompted that select a Snowflake database connection. I have one already created, so I select that. Okay on that. Now I'm going to be prompted to select all the feature types that are on the different readers. Select all there. And this is going to quickly duplicate these feature types onto the canvas. These are the features that we're going to be writing to the database. So I'll just now connect those up. And once I get these connected, we'll just take a peek at, say, parks here. Just have a look at the attributes that have been copied across. So you can see those are all good. We may want to clean some of these up. For example, I may want to remove um, my objects uh, from, the, um, from the attribute definitions, the user attributes. And in here, we can see all the different types of um, data types that we can select from the database. So we can see here there's that geog geography format. Uh, we have lots of other ones. Okay, so FME does a pretty good job of pre-selecting these and sometimes you may want to make some changes and you can do that right here. Okay, I have one more change to make and that's just simply renaming this. This is a CAD data source. So here's the finished workspace with the spatial writer added for Snowflake. Okay, so we'll run this. And take a look at our log file down here. We can see here that we're loading that data in. Features are completed now. And if we just scroll up, we can, again, it's, it's always good to look at your log file, but we can see that we're doing some um, loading and bulk loading. So we're, we're working on performance as well with uh, Snowflake database. There we can see that we're, uh, we're creating the table. Okay, let's flip over to the Snowflake database and run an SQL query. Here you can see I've already run the query. And what we want to show you here is what's being stored in the Snowflake database. And if I click on the geometry column here, we can take a look at the GeoJSON that's been written to the database, type polygon. So this, these coordinates are describing this particular park. And these are the geographic coordinates pairs that have been stored with that polygon. Okay, and that's it. You can see how simple it is to load geospatial data into Snowflake using FME. If you want to try this out for yourself, there are links in the description box below on how to download FME and the knowledge base article that this is based on. In the next video, we'll show you how to read geospatial data from Snowflake. If you're interested in more tutorials, visit the FME community, which is also in the description box below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.